watch and burn. Hey everyone, so tonight I wanted to discuss which is pretty much my favorite Pig Destroyer record, and that is Phantom Limb. Now, if I'm not mistaken too, this is one of the shorter records that they've released. I believe there's only 15 tracks on here, and it runs the better part of maybe 40 minutes, which means the songs are a little longer, and this is more of like a traditional sounding metal album from Pig Destroyer, I suppose, because the songs on here, instead of all being 30 seconds to a minute and a half, some of them run three, four minutes a piece. And I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about that because I remember when, before this record came out, I was reading about it and people were saying how they were working on longer songs. And I wasn't entirely sure if that was gonna be a good thing given that so many power violence slash like grindcore, hardcore bands have attempted this in the past and so few of them have really managed to pull it off. And it felt like, oh no, you know, is fucking Pig Destroyer gonna lose their way? And I couldn't have been more wrong. This is, like I said, pretty much my favorite Pig Destroyer record. The Machete Twins is on here. I still feel like that movie, that movie, there it is, that that track should have been made into a movie. The story about the two sisters going around hunting and killing men and then taking out a SWAT team at the end of the song is, uh, narratively speaking, it's, it's so, it has such a sense of drive and there's such a sense of scope that I really believe that these sisters exist. And now we have another vehicle coming in. Now all of a sudden, this place is fucking alive tonight. But another thing I love about this record is the artwork. I love how there's fewer songs on here. And one of the fewer songs that I absolutely love is Girl in the Slayer Jacket. I love that track. Waist Deep in Ash is on here. Phantom Limb, the title track is on here. Lesser Animals on here. Uh, Heathen Temple's on here. And the Machete Twins is on here, and I absolutely love that track. And for some reason, this place is turning into a circus. I don't know why that is. I come up to these places to be alone, and it, I can never seem to pull it off. But I think um, working longer songs, in, or a record of longer songs, at least up until this point, because Headcage sort of did the same thing, but I found that the songs on here, um, they were bigger sounding. They, they, they went to more exciting places. I felt like Head Cage was good, but I felt that in a lot of ways, Head, Head Cage was just sort of retreading ground that they had tread years ago with this record. And I just don't really like Head Cage too, so that's probably has something to do with it. But I do love this record because of the longer songs. It shows that Pig Destroyer had a lot more going for them than just these quick 30 second to a minute long bursts of chaos that up until this point, they were predominantly known for. And it's exciting when a band that, who's been around at this point for at least, well, actually wait, no, for pretty much 10 years at this point, give or take, could pull something this fresh out and do something this exciting. So I think I'm probably gonna leave it there because like I said, this place is turning into a fucking circus. And yeah, so thank you so much for hanging out with me for a few minutes while I discussed uh, Pig Destroyer's absolutely fucking killer Phantom Limb. If you like this review, like always, don't forget to do something nice for somebody. You guys are amazing. Have a good night. I just wanted to say thank you for making it through the entire video. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to remind everyone one more time, even though I've probably already done this in the video that you just watched, to please click the like button as well as the subscribe button because it helps this channel grow. And thank you for hitting like and subscribe. And we will see you guys really soon.